what kind of rooms were you playing when you first came? Give us the scene setting of where, what kind of rooms you were playing when you were first starting out. It's uh, pretty much basements and pubs, um, and sometimes living rooms, yeah. So um, not, not too dissimilar to this, probably with a bit less, um, <laughs> I don't know, yeah. What is it? Top. <laughs> is, that, is that your laugh? <laughs> that's, that's an amazing laugh, that's an amazing laugh. Um, <laughs> I'd also ask about your technique on stage and the, and the looping technology you use. Describe that a little bit for the folks, um, since we didn't really get to see it in use here. What kind of tools do you use on stage and how does that make you bigger as one man on stage? Um, it's, a, it's a thing called a loop station. It basically, you can build up beats with the guitar and your vocals. It's all, it's all live and it allows you to be as intimate as possible or as, as grand as, as, as possible. And it kind of works from, you know, three people to 87,000 people. It's a very... It's a, it's a good tool. We took some questions off, uh, off Twitter. Um, a lot of people were asking about material you're working on now and what our next album could be expected. 2014, but that's not because it's not ready. It's because I'm doing, uh, did, my tour ends in March and then I start a tour with Taylor in March. Woo. And uh, until September. And then I have to obviously make the record, which um, will take about three, four months. And then it will come 2014. Is there any um, difference in style or things we can expect from that now that you know what the material is going to be like? Well, I wrote the whole of the first record when I was 17 and 18. Like, that was the kind of time that I wrote it. So, obviously, I, I was a bit more immature then, I guess, as, as a writer. So, um, yeah, it, I, I don't, I don't want to do the regular thing and say it's a more mature sound because it's probably the same sort of sound. It's just I, I think I've uh, grown as a writer since then. Artists on their way up often worry about how to break through. Artists who have broken through often worry about how they can keep momentum. What keeps you up at night? Um, I, I sleep very well. I, 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 have to, I have to be honest. I've, I, I'm, I'm very, very content with, with where I am at, at the moment and how, how it's happened. And, you know, it's a very, very love-hate thing with my music, especially, especially in, in, in England. People absolutely either love it or they hate it, and I think that's a good thing. At least they have an opinion, you know. It's, it'd be, be worse if it was just kind of like, meh, you know. So it's, it's good that people form an opinion. Um, on the song, um, You Need Me, I Don't Need You, you take a shot at singers who don't write their own material. <laughs> and you have recently written some material for uh, Taylor Swift and One Direction. Does that apply to them as well? Definitely not Taylor, because the song I did with Taylor, she actually came with pretty much the song done. And she was like, oh, so which bits do you, would you change? And I was kind of like, ooh, I don't know. So not Taylor, she's, she's definitely a writer. Um, and uh, the line I actually say in You Need Me is, uh, you call yourself a singer-songwriter and you're just bluffing because your name's on the credits and you didn't write nothing. And the One Direction song I gave to them, their name's not on the credits. Um, so it, it, there's, there's not the, you know. It's when, it's when people d get, like, get the credits of the... <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to stay politically correct. <laughs> Understood. Yeah. I think it's a, I don't need a wordsmith to, to make my song sell. Something like that. Um, going back to questions coming in from Twitter. Uh, Kate Middleton is pregnant. Yeah. Um, you've had some um, relationships with that family. Uh, what are your thoughts on the uh, pregnancy? <laughs> yeah. No, I haven't, I haven't dated anyone in the royal family. Yeah. Um, uh, so what, what's my opinion on them having a kid? Yeah, I mean, you're a, you're a Brit in the US. So. I think it's wicked, man. Yeah, it's really, really cool. Yeah, really, really cool. I think, like, I don't know. There's a very kind of mixed uh, mixed view on the royal family. But for me, I think it's great to have, you know, something to be so patriotic about. And kind of, you know, it's, 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 a, good, it's a good thing. They're, they're, they've got married, they're in love, they're starting a family. Yeah, it's very, very positive. As a, as a countryman, you get the, uh, the, the joy of, you know, chiming in on the whole thing as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, we probably get a day off that day, so it's good. <laughs> Another holiday yet to come. Um, well, Ed, really appreciate you being here. Thanks so much. And on behalf of WSJKFA, thanks everyone for showing up, too. If you're broken, I will mend you, and I keep you sheltered from the storm that's raging on now. Ripped gloves, raincoat. Try to swim and stay float Dry house, wet clothes 